you know, that getting old. Energetic Tao was born at the end of the First World War in 1918 and has been a yoga instructor for the last 56 years. I've been like this since I was a child. There was so much to do and if we spend our time just sitting there like this, it's not going to help at all. Incredibly, Tao manages to put people who are decades younger than her through their paces at her studio in Westchester, New York. I really wish when I reach her age, I would be as young as she is right now. I feel actually she's younger than me. She's very inspiring for me. She really had me to change my, my whole life. Tao also manages to inspire people a little closer to her age. I've, I've, as a retired nurse, I saw many people, 96, in bed can, with a tube, a feeding tube, uh, unable to talk or walk, and she just is just the epitome of, of strength and energy. Her energy is, is overwhelming. At the tender age of 85, Tao decided that yoga wasn't keeping her busy enough, so she took up ballroom dancing. She is absolutely amazing. Yeah, like, no question doubt about that. She's stunning and diamond on the floor every time. Honestly, sometimes, no. <laughs> I can't keep up with her anymore. Despite having a hip replacement and recently suffering a broken wrist, Tao believes her positive attitude is what keeps her young. You want to put in your mind anything negative. Because, but every morning I get up, I don't think what I'm going to do tomorrow or today or what I did yesterday, I think it's going to be the best day of my life. And she has some simple advice for people who want to live a long and happy life. You really and truly believe. Don't procrastinate. Don't say, I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes.